Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to Inside the Hymn. Today we are going to be talking about my plans for February. Um, I've got a really exciting month planned of sewing and even though February is only 28 days and that's like the shortest month of the year, still going all in and over planning like I always do, <laughs> which is fine. There's just a lot of things I've gotten really excited about this or leading up to this month. So I'm going to try and squeeze in as much as I can, but um, I've got a bunch of stuff to show you today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is inspired by my boyfriend. He got a kind of classic trench coat from Cole Haan and he's been wearing it a ton lately and every time he wears it I'm like I really wish I had a trench coat too. So I dug out Vogue V8884 which is a classic trench coat pattern and this fabric which ironically was in my stash I had this idea gosh, probably a couple years ago and never got around to it. So this is a fabric from Stylemaker Fabrics, no longer available, um, but it is like the quintessential trench coat fabric. Um, it's got great weight, great, um, you know, the right amount of drape, and it's this, you know, beautiful like sandstone beige color. So I'm really excited about that. Obviously this is a more, a little bit more of an involved project. Um, it is fully lined so you know you're making like two coats to put together to make one coat at that point but overall I'm really excited about it I think I'm gonna make view C that has the belt and then the little cuff belts <laughs> cuff bands I don't know what they're called the little things over the um, over the cuffs and view C also has like double princess seams so I think that'll be really flattering and cute so that's project number one, classic trench coat. Do y'all have, do y'all own trench coats and you wear them a lot? I just feel like in the weather down here, it would just be the perfect layering piece. You know what I mean? Anyways, okay, the second one is also something that I've had planned for more than a year easily. Um, it is this Cynthia Rowley dress, um, Simplicity 0881, but it's also known as also known as Simplicity 8086. I don't know why it has two numbers like that, but 8086 is what is written on all of the pattern pieces. So we'll go with that. Simplicity 8086. And basically it's this really cute like um, fit and flare dress with like an overlay, like a an overlay that's not attached at the waist. Um, and I wanna make view C, which has a contrast overlay over the dress part. Um, and the fabrics that I have chosen, super exciting. I wanna do an eyelet for the overlay, this white eyelet with um, just a cotton um, underlining for the overlay. And then this striped chambray, which I think I got from Joanne. Again, it was a long time ago. I can't remember where I got it. Anyways, this striped, um, Seer sucker actually um, for the skirt and the body. So it'll look something like this. Won't that be so cute? And I want to keep the um, scalloped hem for the hem of the overlay. So I've got some details to work out there. But um, it'll just be a really, really cute springy sundress. And um, I am really excited about it. I love whenever combining fabrics like comes together. Um, and just, I don't know, like you have something in your head and then you see the fabrics and you know, you get all excited about it. I don't know why I put off making this. Um, maybe because it's a little bit more involved with, I mean, there's like a ton of um, pieces. I already kind of got started on it and I wrote, I put this on Instagram. So if you've seen this before, my bad. But I went ahead and wrote out like, you know, the blue fabric, the eyelet, the white, like solid cotton and the lining and then each of the pieces that I need to cut out of each one of those because it is sort of complicated to like get it all straight um so I, I started a little bit and it's 
overwhelming <laughs> so I keep going to it and then going away and then coming back to it and then going away but uh but yeah I want to finish that this month so I can wear it I mean it's going to be 70 degrees today so in theory I could wear it pretty much any time right now um okay the third thing is so my style for February um so this year they're doing something cool for a few of the months there are more than one option last year it was like January one pattern February one pattern March one pattern this year um, a few of the months you have two choices to choose from on your pattern so one of them is the Rumana coat which is like a calf length wool legit winter coat and as y'all know like I just said I had no need for a full length wool coat here so I was really excited whenever she um, announced that they would also be offering the um, Estelle Ponty jacket from Style Arc as an option. Um, this is just much more wearable for me and um, I was just you know a waterfall cardigan jacket type thing is you know very wearable here um, and at this similar time frame within a few days of that I got an email from um, Fabric Mart Fabrics so you guys know I'm a member of their Julie's Picks and as a member of Julie's Picks you also get like exclusive uh, opportunities to buy fabrics that aren't sold on the regular site um, and kind of are only available to Julie's Picks members but also does not come in the catalog if that makes any sense um, and so they were doing a whole bunch of Ponty knits they had gotten in and uh, gotten their hands on a whole bunch of different Ponty knits so I got pink obviously it's like a really pretty like baby salmon pink um not quite bubblegum not quite ballet pink kind of somewhere in between those two um so i am really excited i think a cardigan or a waterfall jacket or whatever you want to call it out of this pink ponty with really nice drape i want to say it has rayon in it which also made me excited because i just love rayon and anything um and I just think it's going to be, I'm trying to find an end to show you some drapes, to show you some drape going on. But yeah, see that? So out of the waterfalls, I think that's just going to be so pretty. So I'm really excited about that. That'll be style maker for, um, oh, there's a stain. It's on the selvage. Um, that'll be so my style for February. And so it gets posted on the last Sunday of the month. So you guys will get to see that on my Instagram that day okay what else oh okay so a uh, work in progress that I started um oh goodness a few weeks ago this pattern I knew it would be involved I didn't know it was gonna be this involved um but this is the, another Cynthia Rowley it's Simplicity 2250 and it's a really cute sundress um with a whole bunch of seaming details in the bodice so this is the bodice let me try and show you guys <laughs> we throw these things over my shoulder so you can see on the bodice alone I think I counted and there were like oh gosh was it six darts four pleats it was a lot and then this band is a lot and the band has gathering and it has elastic in the back and these tabs and it's fully lined so just this bodice alone has taken me hours hours and hours but I'm really taking my time with it um, and if you're wondering I did do the straps different on purpose I just wanted to play up the just everything going on with the stripe situation here so that's where we are on that I still have to um uh, obviously sew up the skirt which has inseam pockets um and then attach the skirt and then hem and i'll be done so i'm really in the final stretch but um i was just becoming like kind of burnt out with it after spending i think like three days not all day every day but spending a lot of time on it so yeah that's that um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get that finished up in February. Um, and then the last thing I kind of just threw in, hold on, I kind of just threw in last minute because I went to Joanne to get something small like elastic or 
pens, not pens, but needles or something. And then I just started looking around and then I actually found two really great fabrics that were, right now my Joann store is a little bit barren. There's like not a lot going on there right now. So in my, in my first walk through the fabrics, I was like, eh, uh, I'm not really inspired by anything and just moved on. But after I got my needles or whatever it was, I walked back through again and I was like, you know what? I was like, this is actually pretty cool. Um, and so I ended up getting two things. One of them was, okay, so I never go in that special occasion fabric section where they have like all of the tool and all of the glittery, sparkly stuff. Like I just never go down that aisle because I don't feel like I don't make gowns or anything like that. So I just thought that all that fabric was kind of not anything I would ever wear. Um, but since there was hardly any, any other fabrics in the store, I went down that aisle this time and I found something called, oh shoot, it's called like, shoot, I think it's called like sanded satin. I'll leave a link down below so where you can find it. And it's 100% polyester, but feels really great. So this is um, a color that's kind of like a navy, but with a little bit more green tones in it. Another example, if you remember the ballet dress that I did, that product photo that they had on joann.com like just did not do that fabric justice. And this is the same situation. If I saw the product photo that's on their website right now for this color of this fabric, I would be like, nope, pass. It looks like turquoise. And this is not turquoise. I mean, it does have like a greenish blue teal to it, but um, it doesn't look like it looks on the website. Um, anyways, they have a ton of colors, um, mostly your like neutrals, like black, a lot of grays, some beiges, but judging from this, I don't know that I would buy a color other than black, which everybody knows what black looks like. Um, I don't know that I would buy a color without seeing it in person first, just because the, the product photos are so are so off with this fabric. And I don't know if it's because like the satiny part is reflecting the light in a different way or I don't know, maybe it's just hard to photograph. Honestly, I don't even know what it looks like on camera right now. But um, hopefully my description is, is helping you guys understand it. But anyways, you can see the drape is really nice. It's super soft, you guys. It's like butter. Um, it's not silky like the polyester linings are. It's got a little bit more grit to it than that, but it is still very, very smooth. I guess that's the best word, smooth. So I've had this, this must be the month of simplicity patterns, not on purpose. Um, I've just had these and never sewn them, but I have simplicity 8425, which is this really cute on-trend pattern that has like the little neck band detail. And I've been trying to find a fabric that I thought would work for this because to me, this fabric has to be the right combination of weight and drape. Um, even though I'm only making the top, I still feel like it has to be a little bit more substantive than just uh, rayon chalet. Um, so at first I was looking at peach skin and then I was like, no, that's not drapey enough. But I found this and I think it would just be perfect. So I'm really excited about this. It should be a quick little top um, to make. And then I was walking through another section. I don't even remember where. And it was actually folded around the bolt like this where you couldn't see what it was. But I saw a little teeny tiny peek of it. And I said, hey, what is that? And turns out it is this. Cute, right? And these two, oh, the background of the floral is, I mean, a pretty much a dead ringer for this sanded satin. So I'm thinking of an outfit where these two things can go together. So either, <laughs> brace yourself, a cigarette pant <laughs> or a skirt or um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to still figure it out. I can't remember what kind of fabric this is and I went online and it's not online. Um, so you're just going to have to screen cap this and take it to your store and ask them where to find it or look for it yourself. Um, but it is a thicker, it almost feels like crepe backed satin 
that might actually be what it is. That would be my best guess. Where the satin is the printed part and the crepe side is the white part. Um, so yeah, it might be crepe back satin. That would be my best guess. Um, but it is very, it's heavy weight, um, but still has some really beautiful drape to it. So I think it would make a really great skirt, even like a circle skirt, maybe the Veronica skirt that's a free pattern by, I can't remember, Megan Nielsen, maybe? I'll leave a link down below. Um, so I think it'd make a really pretty circle skirt, but I got enough to, to make even a whole dress if I wanted to, or maybe I could use the leftovers of that for a lining or something. I don't know. I don't know. So, but I did pull out this pattern, um, not totally my style, but for some inspiration for you guys, if you wanted an exact pattern to maybe try and make this something with this, um, it's Simplicity, a uh, Cynthia Rowley pattern again, eight, two, six, four. And I just think that that is really cute either as the mini dress, which again, isn't really me, but I could take the top and add like a pleated skirt to it. And that would be cute. Or I love the idea of a matchy matchy two piece set out of the same fabric. Um, I just think this fabric in particular would be really great for these neck pleats and these arm pleats and has the structure you need for like the boxy type top. So maybe I'll make separates, maybe I'll make the top and then a circle skirt out of the floral and usually never wear them together but maybe wear them together i don't know what do you guys think is that a good idea did i just talk like did i just brainstorm my way into like a really good idea maybe hmm okay well either way circle skirts take like five seconds so maybe i could whip this up in january after all not much to do with the sanded satin but hmm i will have to think on this a little bit um, I have a dress that I started in January that just needs a hem. So I do, like, I am trying to not add projects to the work in progress pile. Um, but some of them are kind of uh, carrying over just for a matter of time. Like that dress needs a hem and I need to um, hand stitch the arm size closed and the waistband lining. Um, but other than that, I really don't have a lot of works in progress. Well, that dress and then the one that I showed you with the complicated bodice. Um, but other than that, I've been doing pretty good at finishing what I start. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to film my January makes video like right now. Um, so you guys will see that shortly. So you'll get to see everything that I've been making so far this year. Very exciting. Um, let me know what your big plan is for February. Um, if you've got something specific in mind or you're just trying to find inspiration, let me know what um, you're thinking about for February. And if you're making, if you're participating in So My Style, let me know, are you doing, are you Team Rumana or are you Team Estelle? We should start a hashtag, Team Rumana, Team Estelle. Um, and let me know um, which one of those you will be making so I can be sure to follow along. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!